What do you call it when Batman skips church? Christian Bale. Knack, 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 knack. So I suppose I should thank Google and BuzzFeed for that intro. And now that that's done, what's up guys, Scourge here with a new game review, and I gotta say, I'm getting a knack for it. Knack, 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 knack. Knack 2 came out earlier this month, so I played the first one to see if it was worth a sequel. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. The plot of Knack is not very well written, and that becomes apparent before you even start playing the game. Knack starts with the town being attacked by goblins with bows. The guards easily fight them off with their guns, but moments later the goblins return with tanks. Why would you attack anything in broad daylight with a bow when you have a tank? But anyway, that leads to some sort of council meeting in the doctor's house. This mishmash of a council consists of random world leaders, the doctor, an explorer named Ryder, and pretty much a really rich guy named Victor. To deal with the goblin problem, they decide to send Ryder and Richie to explore the area where the goblins are suspected of hiding. Then, right before the council dismiss and removes itself from the story, the doctor decides he wants to show off his discovery to everyone. It is at this point that we are first introduced to Nag, as we start the tutorial and exposition section. What you see before you is my ultimate creation, Nack. As you all know, the foundation of our society is these relics, the mysterious remnants of some unknown civilization that power our machines and make our way of life possible. We excavate the relics from deep underground, then use them to power our cars, our planes, our generators. The discovery of this source of perpetual energy has changed our lives completely. I have spent decades learning the secrets of the relics and how to bring them to consciousness. The result is Knack, a living, thinking, breathing creature. Although the info given is very useful to the player, the audience he is talking to seems out of place, Impressive. since the only thing that's actually you info to them is... Knack, is that right? Actually. I call myself Knack. Impressed, the rich prick decides to test Knack's ability against his machines. So Knack battles the robots out in the garden. In the end, Knack wins, but accidentally lets the statue of a woman get destroyed. The statue breaking makes the doctor pretty sad, but you're not really told why the doctor cares, who that woman is, or anything about the statue. Just that the doctor doesn't like that it got broken. So it seemed like they were trying to cause character development, but it left me pretty meh. And to make the scene worse, you just saw that the doctor could have told Victor not to put his giant robot next to the doctor's prized statue. Anyway, Knack proves himself worthy and comes on the mission to hunt the goblin. Flying into the suspected area, they quickly come across the tank tracks. The planes land and they quickly find that the tanks have driven into a mine, so the teams separate to find out how to get in. So Knack and the doc find their way into the mine and soon meet back up with Victor. From there, they find their way out of the mines and find the goblin hideout. So the doctor informs Ryder. Ryder, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Doc. We found a goblin village. Looks like the one we're after. Head due north from our landing spot about ten clicks and meet us there. Roger that. We'll see you there. That's it? You didn't tell him how to get through the mine? Oh, with his skills, he'll beat us there. Even if he has to climb five mountain peaks to do it. So, not telling him Early still day. makes you a dick. The writing gets pretty crappy for this next part, so I'm just going to show you these sequences Lucas. and assure you that these are in order. So there you have it, they get attacked and separated from Knack, then Victor attacks Knack, and then Knack comes and saves everyone. Then to keep the game's pacing properly screwed, after Knack defeats the Goblin King, 
Lucas gets captured by Mr. Moneybags, making the Doc and Nat go after him. All while Ryder's just chilling with the Goblin Leader. I'd like to go on about the huge amount of flaws this story has, but since I don't like to spoil too much of the story, I'll just let Lucas summarize. You do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, and no matter how crazy it is, no one ever tries to stop the Great Doctor. Whenever I look at Knack, I feel like he was designed to bring back the old mascot days, with a brightly covered world and a charming main character. The presentation makes you think that this game is made for kids, especially with Knack having a dying sound that sounds like a Lego game. Although charming at first, you will soon become sick of that sound. Although the feeling I get from playing Knack is comparable to old great titles, Knack itself does not bring anything interesting to the table. Knack calls itself a platformer, but it has the easiest puzzles you can have to get you from fight to fight. Knack does have a lot of different environments and levels. In fact, if I didn't know better, I'd say that they scrambled the storyline just to force a variety in the environment. But like I said, it's basic platforming, so there's nothing really to bring up about these unique environments, other than that they look different than the one you were just at. Knack's standout quality is that he's made of relics and will change sizes as you travel through the levels. As he collects relics, he will get bigger, but since relics are the batteries of this world, sometimes he'll need to shrink to power elevators, or he'll have to shrink just to get through places. The shrinking in Knack sucks, because first, it feels like you've lost all your progress throughout the level, and second, my favorite part of the game is that when you find a new enemy and fight him, you have some difficulty, then when you run into them when you're bigger, you just sweep right past them. Knack has a very deep voice, hmm. and that doesn't really change throughout his oh, sizes. Wow. Except Baby Knack. Baby Knack doesn't we'll talk. Join them. And when you have a mute main uh, character, that means that you have to have really Knack. good supporting characters. And the Doctor is a worst character game. I've ever seen in a game. And the worst part of the game's story is that... No one ever tries to stop the Great Doctor. And that cool. sucks, because I'd rather be playing the misadventures of Choose. Lucas and Knack than oh, this more. game. And Ryder can come too, because he's a badass. Knack is like taking a great team, taking the worst person from that team, and then making that person the leader of the team. Keeping with its appearance of being a kid-friendly game, Knack uses basic controls of jumping, attacking, and dodging. In my experience, simple control should produce a simple pick-up-and-play style of game. But for the most part, someone screwed that up. Now I played through the game on normal, as I was told that it was the standard difficulty level. But when I was done, I did a little test, and here are my results. And remember, this is against the first enemy you can come across. And since it's two hits against enemies throughout the entire game, most of your deaths are going to be just because you got sloppy for a moment or two. And to make that worse, the respawn point is about every three or four fight. So with the difference in difficulty, I honestly can't see why anyone would want to play this game on anything other than easy. But honestly, when Knack's not being a pretentious dick, the combat's a lot of fun. Looking at other people's reviews, a lot of people disagree with me, but I love the way Knack dodges. I just love the floaty feeling of the dodge as the core pushes forward with the rest of the body rushing to form back around you. Another problem with Knack is that they have parts designed to get you killed. Awesome. Next are the Sunstone abilities. I feel like they added these instead of balancing the levels. You collect Sunstones which unlock your special attack. There's the area attack. The storm attack. And lastly, Nax range attack. And although all three abilities are overpowered, I believe that the storm ability was designed just to allow you to skip areas. 
to use the sunstones, you press circle and then the attack that you want to use. So the problem that this game has is if you press circle and no attack, you just wasted a sunstone. Knack has some collectibles throughout the level and you'll find them in some chests. They are parts of items and when completed they will give you special abilities. Although you may find some pointless. Oh look, the secret finder found something on radar. Where could they have a secret passage around here? After you beat the game, which took me about 10 hours, you unlock the Colosseum mode. But since I'm already sick of the fighting, I didn't give it a shot. So, let's move on to the conclusion. Knack was a day one release. That means that there is a large possibility that there are kids out there that this was their first experience with the PlayStation 4. And that sucks, because it makes Rise, Son of Rome look like freaking Game of the Year. And it's not. The Last of Us was. But I said all that to say this. Knack is a good looking game that won't deliver on the story, and is just plain bothersome sometimes in this gameplay. Knack was a game I honestly didn't want to finish playing, because each time I picked up the controller, it was a worse experience. So for those reasons, I give Knack a 5 out of 10. So I hope none of you got suckered into buying Knack 2. But hey, if you did buy Knack 2, at least I can have a good laugh about it. Knack, 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 knack. Well, that's all I have to say today, so I'll leave you with some footage of Knack straight trying to kill Victor's assistant. I might be small, but I'm much faster. Nah. I got you right where I want you. She's still alive. I'm going after her. We can't wait for you, so go! 